Welcome guys, in this video we are going to learn about the difference between Java and JavaScript. So if you're a beginner and you're just learning programming languages, so what might happen is like you came across Java and JavaScript and you're confused whether they have some sort of similarities, whether they are brothers, but in reality I'm gonna say you guys, they are not related to each other at all. I'm gonna also clear up why they are not related to each other. I'm gonna go to the next slide. So JavaScript was initially when it was invented by Na uh, Netscape. It was named as Mocha. Later on, they actually renamed it to LiveScript. And finally, it was converted or renamed into JavaScript. So the transition from LiveScript to JavaScript happened because of Netscape and Sun Microsystem made a deal. So, so Sun Microsystem is actually the founder of the Java programming language. So it's something like a conventional feelings when you are uh, making a deal, you want to put something from your side inside the deal. So that is what actually Sun Microsystem did. Sun actually put the <laughs> Uh, Java as the prefix of the live script and it became JavaScript. Isn't that funny? But in reality, both are really different languages. Okay, right now I'm gonna actually discuss about the key differences between Java and JavaScript. Java is an, an object-oriented programming language. On the other side, JavaScript also object-oriented programming language, right? But the difference is that JavaScript is uh, scripting language so what is a scripting language I'm not gonna explain if you want to know about it search into the Google but basically simply uh, scripting languages are mostly run on to the client side so another difference between Java and Java uh, JavaScript is that Java is uh, Java applications are run on the virtual machine on the other side JavaScript can be run on browser side Another difference is that Java codes need to be compi compiled. So the compilation means that you are converting the code into bytecode and the bytecode will be prepared for execution. On the other side, JavaScript code are all in plain text. So it doesn't need to be compiled. It is directly run, run on your computer or browser side and java and javascript have different sort of plugins also i want to mention something here nowadays javascript can be also run on the uh, server side or machine side as a server language uh, for example as an alternative of php we can take the name of node.js okay guys so that's basically the differences between java and javascript so finally, if we want to say, are Java and JavaScript brothers? No, they are not. So next time, if anyone asks you, what are the difference between Java and JavaScript? Hopefully you remember all those lessons what I've given, what I've given you not right now. Okay, if you like this video, comment in the comment section, subscribe, thumbs up, see you into another video. Bye-bye.